Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a roundup of all of the scents that I've been melting this week. So I am very new to wax melts and the whole wax melt community. Um, most of the people that I watch kind of do a mixture of body care and wax slash candle um, content. So they've kind of convinced me to get into wax melts. <laughs> right now I have two wax melters. I have one downstairs. It is a 25 watt bulb. Um, it's like a little teal one that I got from Target. And that one works really, really well. I just turn it on at the beginning of the day and let it go all day. Um, and then I have a tea light warmer that I have been warming in my bathroom. And that one, I'll just let it go until the tea light kind of burns out, which is usually like four to six hours in. Um, so that's really the only wax warmers that I have right now. Um, I have been working at home the past week, and so I definitely have been using a lot more wax and candles than I would usually um, because I do usually just go to work 8 to 4. I get home at like 5 o'clock and then I'll put something on. So I can definitely see how if you're a work from homer that you could be going through a lot of wax or if you're a stay at home mom, whatever you do, if you're at home most of the day, I could definitely see you going through a lot of wax, but I kind of never really got into them. I've usually just been like a candle burner typically, um, but I really wanted to start trying wax. So here I am. I did, uh, recently I did a Walmart wax walkthrough video and I went through the wax section at Walmart and I picked up a lot of stuff. So I've been trying some of that. I also have some stuff from Target, Sonoma, and even Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna run through what I've been burning lately and my thoughts on those things. So the first place I actually started was with Target. And I was kind of just, you know, how you do when you go in Target. I wasn't really looking for anything in particular, but I went to the like candle section and I found that wax warmer, which was actually on sale. I think it was like $5 off. And I found these, this set of wax melts that was also on sale, I think from like $4 to three or $4 to two. Um, but it is a three pack and it comes with pumpkin spice, caramel latte, and vanilla bean in amber. So this is what it looks like. This is from Target's Threshold brand. And it comes with in the back, um, the melts are kind of split up into these slivers. I don't know what else to call them. Um, but I've been using two at a time in my big warmer and then one at a time in my little tea light warmer. And so I did use the pumpkin spice from this. Definitely would recommend it for fall. It smells so good. I am a pumpkin spice girl. I love it. Um, so me burning it in the bathroom, I really didn't care. And my brother didn't say anything. So we share a bathroom and he didn't say anything about it. So I might just continue to do the pumpkin spice in there. Um, I haven't tried that one in the big warmer, but it did work really well in the tea light warmer. It lasted for like two days, so that's really good. I did caramel latte downstairs. My dad said it smelled like coffee. Um, it was a very strong thrower. It smelled, I think it smelled really good. It's like almost a little too caramely, caramely though. Um, my mom didn't like how sweet it was, but I really enjoyed it. Again, that one lasted maybe a day and a half or two days. Um, and then vanilla bean and amber. I've already bought a whole brick of because it is so good. It kind of reminds me of baby shampoo. This is vanilla bean and amber down here. It kind of reminds me of baby shampoo or baby powder. Just something really, really clean and sharp. And I've been very surprised lately that I actually am liking the kind of clean scents downstairs in our living room in that wax melter um, because it kind of makes the whole house smell like it's clean. And it's been really good. I'm usually just a gourmand girl for candles, but I think I'm liking the clean, fresh wax scents too. So definitely recommend Vanilla Bean and Amber that one. Um, I really only burned like half days and it lasted me like three half days, which is really good. Um, the next couple that I got were from Dollar Tree. I have a vanilla, just plain old vanilla and toasted marshmallow. And this one to me kind of does smell like, um, what is that one from Bath and Body Works? Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Marshmallow Fireside. It does kind of smell like marshmallow fireside, but without the like bonfire element to it, it's just the marshmallow part and the marshmallow and like cream. And so what I did was I did a full cube in the big warmer downstairs and it had no throw. I could not smell it at all. And then I ch chopped this one in half and I did a little half of a cube in the tea light warmer in the bathroom and that performed amazingly. So 
these are pretty light and again with the vanilla one i did that also in the tea light warmer and i only used half of a cube in the tea light warmer in the bathroom and it smelled really good it's like a simple a little bit of wax just fell out it's a very simple vanilla scent but i wouldn't say it's a vanilla that you eat it's more of a body care vanilla for sure um but in the tea light warmers they do last pretty well they last pretty much a whole day um but in a regular warmer i would not recommend these um i think because the tea light gets so hot um that these actually perform pretty well but only in the bathroom so only in like a very small room even in my bedroom it probably wouldn't even be able to smell it so um don't get these unless you have a tea light warmer and they sell those at um i've seen them at dollar tree before but i got mine from walmart i think it was two dollars so really cheap but um these are good if you want to use them in the bathroom but don't recommend getting them for like big warmers the next one that i got is from sonoma so i was in kohl's the other day and i picked this up it is summer berry lemonade it's a super beautiful juicy as tina Delicious would say packaging and this one smelled really good it definitely smells like pretty much strawberry lemonade it's very tart very very good i think it smells amazing it performed really well um it was super strong it lasted like two or three days but this is like half days um it lasted like two or three half days of burning and yeah it was really good and the color on the wax is just stunning and really pretty so loved that one the next couple ones are from target and they're all better homes and gardens the first one is vanilla and peach i have only used one wax cube from this but i'm already in love it is such a beautiful simple fruity scent oh gosh it just smells amazing i would actually almost say this smells like the inside of peach cobbler that's kind of what it smells like yeah um me and my mom both love this one and my mom is really hard to please with scents she likes very muted toned down um scents that you can kind of barely tell are there but you smell it every now and then this one was so so good it was kind of like it wasn't super high throwing it was like a medium like i said like if you weren't thinking about it you wouldn't smell it but if you walk past it oh it just smelled so good and like juicy and oh it was so amazing so i will definitely be getting this again and again and it's really really pretty peach wax too so it kind of makes sense um the next one that i have is banana pumpkin bread this one I would say was really strong when I first put it in. Oh my God, it like punched me in the face. It was so strong. For like the first four or five hours, it was super heavy hitting and really caramely for some reason. Um, yeah, it was super strong. I didn't get a lot of banana when I was burning it. It kind of just smelled like bread. Not like bread you'd eat, like still like banana bread, but like without the banana. I don't know, like pound cake no not necessarily pound cake just like sweet bread i don't know it didn't really have much i didn't think of banana when i smelled this i really thought of just like bread there's no pumpkin but there's a little bit of spice so there was a little bit of like cinnamony nutmeg um and kind of caramel um but this thing knocked my socks off for the first few hours and it lasted about a day and a half burning like straight through the day so it was really good it was very 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 strong um but not super impressed by it the i wish there was more banana to it and the last one that i have to share with you guys is lemon pumpkin shortbread also better homes and gardens from the fall this one i expected a little bit more lemon out of it um, but while burning i didn't really get that too much um i was very pleasantly surprised that it didn't have too much like pumpkin or spice to it it definitely smells more like just shortbread um there's definitely the lemon element to it and you'll get it every now and then when it was burning but for the most part i didn't really get like extra lemon so i might have to get like a specifically lemon scent because my mom loves lemon and if this was a little bit more lemony i could feel like this would be really good but it was definitely still good and like a medium um thrower but yeah it was still good it still was like shortbread and smell really sweet and stuff but i wish there's a little bit more lemon to it um so yeah that's everything that i have for what i've been warming this week um let me know down below some things that you guys are warming this week what are your favorites 
I need to, well, first I need to get through the wax that I have here and then I need to go out and buy more. So let me know what your favorites are down below so I can put them on my shopping list or my to try list. And um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.